Hi, my name is Willix, and this is episode 3 of Direwolf 21.12. Today we're going to make some power. We're going to use that tree you see there, and we're going to get over a thousand RF per tick out of just the sap from that one tree. No other fuel involved. So, let's get started. Now, to plant the tree, you actually need a bigger flat area. It has to come out to like here has to be flat at the same level as the tree. Um, so like two out each of the sides. I filled in a little bit of dirt after the fact. When I planted the four uh, spruce, oh it's got to be spruce by the way, four spruce saplings. Um, I then used the fertilizer from Actually Additions where what I did was I took a stack of carrots and a knife from Actually Additions and I turn carrots into uh, compost or whatever it's called and that could fill two of these uh, composters and then I got the uh, fertilizer from there and you could use it like bone meal to grow up the tree but let's get started on this stuff so we're gonna need to make a bunch of stuff we're gonna need some machine frames three of them that's tin gears we're going to use one of them to make the induction smelter. We need some hardened glass, so I need an induction smelter to get that to uh, finish off this build. And I don't have any power for now, but we'll deal with that. Pulverizer to pulverize the obsidian. And then the fractioning still is what takes the uh, tree sap and turns it into tree oil. We're going to need five steam dynamos for this build, four compression dynamos, and I'm going to use a sink in from uh, cooking for blockheads instead of the um, oh, what's the other thing called aqueous accumulator. Um, now the terracotta, I tried pulling out of one of those buildings over there because they're made out of terracotta, all of them just different colors of terracotta. But it didn't work. I had to cook up my own. So that's blocks of clay cooked up, get the terracotta that way. And we need some fluid ducts. Those are our hardened upgrade kits for the dynamos and such. Device frames, eight of those, because we're going to need eight um, arboreal extractors. That's what pulls the sap out of the trees. We're going to need some item ducts. Hardened fluid conduits. I'm not sure that they're necessary, but we'll get into more into that a little later. And leadstone flux duck. And I'm actually going to turn it into harden. Again, may not be necessary to make it harden, but uh, I'll explain more on that later. I'm going to make a couple of these. Uh, they're just to speed up the f still in the beginning. I can pull them out later. Oh, that's where I need the other things. What's this? I'll take those right now. These are fuel catalyzers. and increases the dynamo's uh, fuel efficiency. What are you? You need stuff. Oh, and I need one servo for this build. Okay, so first off We're going to need our hardened, and we're going to need some fluid duct, and our servo, and, oh, that guy. All right, so we'll drop down here. We'll place our sink right there. Fluid duct's running along here. Put that in. This is the o we only need the one servo, even though there's going to be piles of pipes in this build. And we're going to take one steam dynamo and place it here. Uh, it's not going to go in this 
direction later on. Uh, but for now, just to get us started, we're going to do it that way. And then we're going to put in, and I don't have it on me. Remember all that charcoal I made last episode? So we're going to put some charcoal in there for now. It won't be running off of that later. And then up here we're going to drop in our pulverizer and that, our induction smelter. We're going to, we don't want it passing things. I guess we could have it pass things, but oh well. Um, actually, yeah, we could deliberately have it pass things. I'm putting 12 of them in there for now. Actually, let output and you input. We need to take that off. I need some lead. I need 12 lead. Put our 12 lead there. Okay. So now it's uh, while it's doing its thing, let's do the rest of this build. So we're going to put down some fluid ducts here. Just the regular ones. Now before any fluid goes in anything, I want to get these done so that they don't join up. I'm going to put in my fractionating still. And I'm going to place it this way. Now even though it looks like it's connecting there, it can't connect there. I want it to just have one route to take. Oh, let's, before I forget, let's put in the uh, backside here. There, that should be going all the way around. And let's put this in and disconnect this for just now. It'll be reconnected later. Now on this guy, we want to configure it so that on that side is the input. This side is the fluid output. And that side is the, I forget what they're called. The resin or something. All right, and Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now for placing the arboral extractors. I'm going to do it this way because I have a hard time with them otherwise, trying to get them turned around. Okay, now I'm going to set each of these. Um, it's going to output from the bottom, and I'm marking that just so that I can see that uh, it's facing the right direction. Whoops, that one's done. Output from the bottom, and the back, I'm marking it as blue, so that as you can see, the front is facing the tree. Actually, we can take those off now. You can um, use that to test whether you've placed them correctly. I know I placed all these correctly. But it, if in doubt, that's how you can check. Okay, um, this guy is going to need power. Okay, how are we doing? 
We've got our hardened glass. Okay. Let's go deal with that. How do I get out of here now? Actually, let's fill it in some of these holes here. They're no longer necessary. Okay. Okay, so we're going to need 18. And that makes our reinforced upgrade kits, nine of them. Notice I got 10 of these, nine of these. We're going to need some copper plates. That's an engineer's hammer. I got it off of one of the villager buildings. There's a little sign on front. Then we're going to take plates, drop them there and there, five of those. Oh, plates. Yeah, I only need four of those. It's set up for five, but uh, I have one extra hardened glass. That's why. Okay. Yeah, I only need four of these. I don't know why I started setting it up for five. Okay. So all those are done. Now let's come down here. Oh, we should have taken the power out of that sooner. Why does it not have any power in it? Oh, that's fine anyways. Okay, so this guy is going to turn that way. And we're going to put down our, not those. Where are they? Where are my dynamos? They're there. Okay. And then we're going to put down our hardened flux duct running along here. Not not flux duct, I mean hardened fluid duct. And then we're going to put in the rest of our steam not steam dynamos down here. And connect those all up to power. So what we're doing along here is we're taking... We're, let's get... Uh, actually, the other way around. There. Okay, so each of these is first left going to get one of these upgrades. Then one of these upgrades. Oh, you get one of these upgrades too. Okay. And then each of them gets... See that, how they're changing their look? They are now going to be producing steam instead of... Converts applicable dynamo into a steam boiler, increasing the fuel efficiency. And basically, be, by doing it, by creating steam, we're going to double what we get out of these. Now, for these over here, we're going to use one, two, and only three of them are going to get the extra upgrade. Um, that worked out, balanced well for the steam that I was creating. And we're going to need, oh, this guy's running out of power now. I guess we're going to need to get started on this. Um, oh yeah, these things need... that, and then fuel efficiency in all of these. You can see it's the fuel efficiency. Fuel efficiency reduce, um, increases the RF produced by the fuels. And now, 
I guess we can turn this guy on. And take our item duct and place it there and there. What it's doing is going to take this out of there eventually and stick it in here. There, finally. What well, left? Oh, there it is. And this is more than enough to do it. Um, I could have got away with a hardener or whatever, but I wanted the fuel efficiency upgrade. Um, yes, these would be better if we used higher upgrades, but uh, I just wasn't willing to do all the stuff necessary to make them at this point in the game. So I worked with what I could. So basically, this is turning the resin into... Oh, that's what I didn't do. Let's speed this guy up. Now, he draws a lot more power. See, he's drawing, what is it now? He's drawing 120. He was drawing a third of that, like 40 before. So he's basically working three times as fast. He doesn't need to be doing that later on. This is just for now that uh, to get caught up on all the resin that's uh, built up in, the, uh, in these things. And as you can see, these things are putting out... Oh, they're not quite full yet. Oh, okay. They're going to be putting out 320 each for these threes. And this one is 240. So 320, the, doing the math in my head, that's 960 plus 240. And then we got to subtract from that this guy over here, which is 120 right now, but he'll be less later. And we're getting over 1,000 RF per tick out of one tree. And all these guys aren't there yet, but their uh, power output is going to be going. It's full of steam. Why is it? Oh, no, that's right. I don't know why the power output. It seems to be growing, but... Uh, Oh, there's nowhere for it to go. <laughs> that's why the power output's not going anywhere. All right. So basically, that's our build. Um, now, why did I use fluid ducts this time and item conduits, item ducts, instead of using the, um, the cables that I could did over here? The reason for that is the fluid ducts are um, better at doing sort of a pseudo round robin. If we notice inside of them, they're each getting a little bit of tree oil. It's not going all to one. Whereas if I used those things, it would have filled one, then the next one, then the next one, then the next one. This was sort of better. It was um, because of the pseudo round robin aspect and that uh, true for the steam as well. The other aspect is uh, because I didn't have to use any uh, servos, just the one on the fluid down, down below, they turned out to be cheaper as well. Um, on the hardened fluid duct here, I think it works with just the regular uh, fluid duct for now, but steam's supposed to be hot. And I would expect that it's sometime in the future that will be corrected and all of a sudden they go blowing up on me and so I decided to just do it uh, as hardened for now and I can cover all this up with dirt now but I'm leaving it open so you can get a peek at it but it's a nice tight little configuration one tree producing a thousand RF per tick more than that actually Okay, I guess that's it for this episode. I hope you found it useful. Go out there and have some fun. Thanks.